Hi, a film I watched on something of a whim recently was The Night Visitor, a English language Swedish film from 1971. It's an unusual beast. It's very reminiscent, I feel, of some of the post-psycho psychological thrillers produced uh, in the UK by Hammer and other studios. Twist in the tale stories of um, psychosis and psychological manipulation and gaslighting. But it's a Swedish film uh, with a largely Swedish cast. And as such, it has that veneer of the, uh, the classic um, Ingmar Bergman style austerity, wintriness, uh, kind of emotional distance and um, frostiness, one would say, in all its forms. Um, the film begins with a, <laughs> a man running through the uh, snowy woods uh, in his vest and pants. Um, and far from being a comedy, uh, it turns out that this man goes to uh, two houses in the small community and kills two people um, before managing to escape. Um, the police investigate and um, we discover that there is interconnection between these characters and the connection is the, this, this character whom they realise must, must be the prime suspect for the two murders. However, he has a perfect alibi. He's been incarcerated in the local lunatic asylum for a murder he supposedly committed a year earlier, the brutal murder of a farmhand, uh, a crime that he denies uh, committing. And as the story goes on, we see it's actually a more complex story of manipulation and revenge uh, involving his uh, sister and brother-in-law. Um, it's it's, a, it's such an odd film because it, it does combine these two very different tones. The, the intense um, hysterical tone of these psychological thrillers like Taste of Fear or The Nanny um, with, the, with the much more austere, remote uh, Swedish style of film. And as a result, it, it doesn't really mesh fully. But it's still quite a strange, absorbing piece of work. Uh, Max von Sydow as Salem is uh, almost obvious casting. I mean, who else are you going to cast as a, an escaped lunatic in a Swedish movie in the early 70s? Um, we have two other greats of uh, Swedish cinema in Liv Ullman and Per Oskarsson as the sister and the brother-in-law. And you have even some British imports as well with uh, Trevor Howard as the police investigator and cameo roles by great British actors, Rupert Davis and Andrew Keir. Um, overall, it's a film that's possibly worth seeing uh, if it turns up and you're in the right mood for uh, a, a psychological puzzle, perhaps. But um, it's far from a great film. Um, the twist in the tale does become somewhat obvious in retrospect. Um, and there are elements of the story that are somewhat unbelievable. But um, it is perhaps commendable that a film that involves Max von Sydow, the great of Swedish cinema, running around the woods in his underwear, could be taken as seriously as it does without looking absurd. So perhaps on that count, it ought to be recommended.